jokhon whenever we will discuss anything we must be clear about the concepts and why we should know it so what is surveillance why it is required that i have already discussed now what are the key elements of any surveillance there are six key elements of surveillance systems first one is detection and notification of health event some thing is going on related to health bad one related to health some event is occurring so we have to first detect it and we have to notify it we have to notify it yes this disease is going on or probably it will be increased the first step of surveillance Up, after that we have to invest investigate this and confirm it is it at all the disease occurring or going to occur that is the second key elements of surveillance to prothom ki holo prothom hoye detection and notification after that we have to confirm it we have to investigate it jao okay who will go who will go to the field you will not go to the field in the first hand who will go that health worker multi purpose health worker will go to the community and investigate at all the event is going on is it false or true okay investigation yes confirm yes something is going on a uh, disease is occurring or likely to occur then you will start to collect data or information that is the third key elements once data collection will be over what he or she will do with this data he or she has to analyze it or collate it they analyze it and interpret the meaning and next he has to give feedback and disseminate the results to whom to the next higher level that means immediate boss is mo medical officer primary health center mo psc okay then on the base of the report response and actions will be taken so these are the six key elements of surveillance prothome ki korte hobe first detection notification hoye gelo then go to the field go to the community and investigate the case and confirm the case then question comes about data collections then once data will be collected it will be analyzed interpret then preparation of report sending the report on the basis of the report actions will be taken that is response okay do at first i discussed about the need of surveillance discussed about the use of surveillance but still once again i would like to tell you about the needs of the surveillance number 1 recognize cases or cluster of case cluster means perhaps you know the cluster cluster means a group cluster means a group recognize cases or cluster of cases what for to trigger intervention intervention nawar jonno amader we have to recognize the cases and what for we will take intervention program to prevent as well as control the diseases rather to reduce the transmission of diseases or to arrest the spread of disease and also in the long run to reduce the morbidity and mortality perhaps you know morbidity mortality is the difference okay next the objective is assess public health impact on health events on health events or uh, something is going on in the community what will the impact of this health situations or disease and determine or measure the trends how it is going on what is going on and how it is going on next page also definitely we should know what is going on how it is going on and why it is going on and third one 
demonstrate the need of public health intervention programs. What is the need? Why we would like to organize public health intervention programs? Because we would like to undertake any intervention programs in the community to prevent the disease or to arrest the spread and to control the disease. Okay? But you see, in order to undertake any intervention programs, perhaps you are aware that we went to Nanur in the month of August and organized an intervention program about the usefulness of breastfeeding okay, in the breastfeeding week. And again, in the month of September, first week, perhaps first or two, we again we went to Singur to organize an intervention programs about the usefulness of balanced diet. So, there is a need for the reasons we went there, organized intervention programs. Okay. For the reasons, we required the resources. Resources means materials, money, manpower. So, we require it, so we have to plan it, demonstrate the need of public health intervention programs and resources and allocate the resources during public health planning. When you plan that yes, in this current financial year, whatever may be the situations, we will undertake at least 3, 4, 5 intervention program for the reasons, allocation of resources will be there, that means fund will be required, we have to plan for the fund. Next, not only in implementations, but whenever any program, say for example, class is going on, okay fine, class is going on, we are providing education to you through lecture class, through small group discussions, through practical classes. Once it will over, then questions comes about monitoring. Monitoring is going on, that means internal assessments, that is monitoring and at the end of the year exam, that is evaluations. Likewise, whenever we will take any public health measures, we have to assess the impact through monitoring and evaluations. So, monitor effectiveness of prevention and control measures, okay, that is one part and fifth one is we have to identify high risk areas, high risk community where any time any problem health problem may arise that we have to identify and what for because you see there we have to go and undertake intervention programs for whom we have to know for whom we like to organize any intervention programs and at the same time we may have to conduct study that will be analytical in nature. Then what is going on? What are the causes that we should know through analytical studies? It is epidemiological study, type of epidemiological studies perhaps you have gone through. And last one is on the base of that we can develop hypothesis that hypothesis will lead to analytical studies about the risk factors for disease causations, disease propagations and progress of the disease. So, these are the use or need of disease surveillance. That is the concept of disease surveillance. Now, type of surveillance. There are two types of disease surveillance. One is active and there is passive. Active means when we people, when the health worker along with their colleagues will go to the community and collect information from the community. When health worker goes to the area or house to house and collect information that is called active surveillance and in reverse whenever the community people come to the sub center and share the information with the health worker or with other health staffs that is called passive surveillance. When people come to the health center and information collected through different registers is passive 
surveillance. So, surveillance is of two types active and passive. Now, concept is clear, okay, need is clear. Now, question comes the objective. Okay. What is the objective? The primary objective of disease surveillance is to immediately detect, immediate quick detections and rapid action. Okay. Quick detection and rapid action. The primary objective of disease surveillance is to immediately detect and rapidly respond to epidemic prone diseases. In other words, the Sajjagotche Kadarke health service take, it helps, it assists the health service to keep close watch on health events occurring in the community and detect the outbreaks in timely manner. In this effort or in this endeavor, health workers has a pivotal role, important role to play. Clear? Okay, that is the objective. Objective key number one, detection and take actions. So, for that is the two words. We have to detect it and then quick actions will be taken. Now, the question comes, what are the procedures, what are the process or what are the steps of taking actions right from receiving informations about the community regarding the health status or health events. Now, to run this thing, to run this disease surveillance program, Government of India launched a special program for disease surveillance. This is called IDSP, Integrated Disease Surveillance Program. The Government of India launched this program in the year 2004. What for? To strengthen these surveillance systems. What for? For epidemic prone diseases. Again, for two things to detect and respond to the outbreaks of the disease at the earliest. Two reasons to detect and respond. So, within the existing health infrastructures, it is not always possible for the reasons a special program was undertaken, but, but for this routine activity, there is no separate or additional health manpower with the existing health manpower, we have to do it. This requires development of a systematic approach to record health events and disease outbreak. First, the systematic approach to record the health events that will be occurring or that is occurring and report them to the next level. To the next level, what for? For analysis interpretation and actions. Now, type of surveillance active and passive that I told you, but here type of surveillance under IDSP depending on the level of the reporting of the health staff. There are different categories of health staff. So, on the basis of the level of reporting of the health staff, the surveillance under IDSP are of three types. One is syndromic, second one is presumptive and third one is confirmative. So, only syndromic types will entirely depend upon the health worker. Okay. So, syndromic means cases notified as suspected. Cases are reported on the basis of clinical patterns on the basis of signs and symptoms that will be worked out by health worker only on the basis of signs symptoms. Okay? That is called syndromic approach or syndromic type and next one that will be done by the medical officers that is called presumptive. Okay? 
health worker went to the community and suspect cases on the basis of just signs and symptoms. But they do not have any authority or even they do not, they may not have that much expertise to, to confirm the case okay, or rather diagnosis, they cannot. For the reasons, it is the medical officers who can go and diagnose the case on the basis of the typical history and clinical examinations that is called presumptive okay that will be done by medical officers that is not sufficient again on the basis of this clinical examinations again the specimens in many cases the specimens will be sent to the laboratory for confirmations that is called laboratory confirmed cases with confirmed diagnosis okay clinical cases are confirmed by an appropriate laboratory test. So, on the basis of the level of health functionaries, this disease surveillance are of three types. One is syndromic, that means that will be on the basis of the syndrome or rather we can say signs and symptoms. Okay. Who will do it? Health worker. Okay. Then, on the basis of these syndromic approach or syndromic systems, again this will be handed over to the medical officers. They will clinically examine the case and they will say yes. That is first one is suspected, second one will be probable. That means, that means difference of degree nothing but suspected case, probable case and third one is confirmed case. Now, types of surveillance under IDSP, surveillance under IDSP, three types that I told you, one is syndromic, presumptive and confirmative. How many types? Three, syndromic, presumptive, confirmative. Who will do that? Definitions, diagnosis is made on the basis of the signs and symptoms only, that is syndromic, diagnosis is made on typical history and clinical examination, that is what That is what type? Ki type? Putam the syndromic, second one is presumptive on the basis of clinical history and clinical examinations that is presumptive and third one is clinical diagnosis confirmed by an appropriate laboratory test that is confirmative. Who will do it? The first case again this question of repetition nothing but syndromic ta korbe? Edike bolo syndromic ta korbe? Bolo jure bolo edike ke bolo syndromic ta korbe? Health worker, Pizam Dita K. Gorbe, Medical Officer, a confirm K. Gorbe, Doctor, <laughs> Pizam Tip on the basis of clinical signs symptoms, Rugi Deke Doctor Kikore, prescription, a note of integration, die, diagnosis, a note of integration. And investigations. Kotha investigation is jai? Lab. So laboratory gye confirm kurbe. Then pizam kotha mehalo syndromic. Aje. Types of field form field by health worker, medical officer, lab technician. A tinte jeno tinte form achhe. Acta hoche form hoche S. That will be filled up by health worker. Iglo janta hobe chagri kotha kele. Hoy nuli posted at medical officer's in PSC. Then ghol khaye debe health worker hai. Was felt or a goal guy at the bottom. Form S. Tobito Tadakin, Rajudari Kotu, Tadak supervised Kotel, the Kasson, the Janta Veto. Form S will be filled up by the health worker. Form P will be filled up by you as a medical officer. And form L 
form L that will be filled by laboratory technician. So, in a nutshell that is about the concept of disease surveillance. Now, the topics was disease surveillance, role of health education and role of health worker. Now, health worker ki korbe? Collect korbe. Data collect korbe. They will collect data, okay. analyze the data, report it to the next level. Okay. Then only actions will be taken. So, how they will do it? Approach ki tade, health worker approach ki, what is the approach of health worker? Syndromic. On the basis of the only basis of the signs and symptoms, they will do it. Perhaps you have the idea about signs and symptoms. What are the difference between signs and symptoms? Okay, chalo. Dekho. In details now about the role of health worker in disease, that is in your syllabus. Role of health worker in disease surveillance programs as well as what type of education, health education they will be provided, how they will provide health education. That is my concern. Syndromic surveillance, same thing repeatedly collection of information on various syndromes under surveillance in IDSP. IDSP full form integrated disease surveillance program, fine, okay. It is carried out by the syndromic that I told you, syndromic surveillance only that will be carried out by Kekorbe health worker. Amadeh West Bengal health worker report about the kinama che ANM. Okay. This is based on the reporting on syndrome defined as group of symptoms and or, or signs okay. on the basis of that down symptoms kya che symptoms that will be ke symptom ta bolbe you or somebody else ke bolbe symptom kara bole a sign kara dekhe that is the difference between symptoms and sign symptoms is a complaint perceived by the community people or the patient je roge bhukche she jata bolbe these are called the symptoms Symptoms mane hoche to me noy, to me volve na. You will listen from the patients that is called symptom. And on the base of the symptom, you will see, you will examine the patients. These are the signs. Jor esche, loose motions, they bolche, tara bolche, headache, tara bolche, vomiting, cough, tara roche bolche. Now, sign, sign is the finding. On examination of the patients, he examined by you as a doctor. Skin has rash very much. Skin wrong part is there. Chokhe wrong part is there. These are the signs. Okay. So on the basis of the signs and symptoms, the important peripheral worker is the health worker. They will help you. Through syndromic surveillance. That means, on the basis of the signs and symptoms, they will detect the case, investigate the case, and come to you to report. Under this integrated disease surveillance program, six things are there only. This surveillance program is shorter disease. Six items are included under. This is several program. These things will be done apart from their normal duties. Forget about the normal duties. Definitely, they have to perform the normal duties. The health workers will perform their normal duties. Apart from these, under the disease surveillance program, there are six items that they have to do that is compulsory. Which are those? Number one is fever. They will visit to the community at least once in a week and collect information about the fever. Anybody suffering from the fever in the community? What about the populations of a health worker to be covered in health center, sub center? 
কত পপুলেশন হাউ এনি পপুলেশন এবার বকুনি খাবে আমার কাছে বুঝতে পারছি হাউ এনি পপুলেশন হেলথ সেন্টারে অফিসিয়াল পপুলেশন কত কত ফাইভ থাউজেন্ড পাঁচ হাজার পপুলেশন মনে থাকবে পাঁচ হাজার পপুলেশন সেই পাঁচ হাজার পপুলেশনের কমিউনিটিতে দে উইল ভিজিট এভরি উইক অ্যান্ড টু ফাইন্ড আউট কোনো ফিভার কেস আছে কি না তার টাইপ নাম্বার ওয়ান সাত দিন বা তার বেশি জ্বর লেস দেন ফাইভ ডেজ ডিউরেশন উইদাউট এনি লোকালাইজিং সাইন্স অর ফিভার উইথ র্যাস ফিভার উইথ কনভালসেন্স বিডিং ফ্রম স্কিন অর মিউকাস মেমব্রেন অ্যান্ড সেকেন্ডারি ইজ কাশি কফ হুইদার ইট ইজ লেস দেন টু উইক্স অর মোর দ্যান টু উইক্স সেটা কিন্তু নোটিফাই করবে ডিটেক্ট করবে রেকর্ড করবে থার্ড ওয়ান অ্যাকিউট ক্লাসিক প্যারালিসিস রিলেটেড টু ডেফিনেটলি পোলিও এটা এখন আর নেই কিন্তু থাকতেও পারে ওকে হু উইল বি অ্যাফেক্টেড চিলড্রেন লেস দ্যান ফিফটিন ইয়ার্স সো থার্ড ওয়ান ফোর্থ ওয়ান ইজ ডায়রিয়া কেউ ডায়রিয়াতে ভুগছে কি না ডায়রিয়া ইজ নট দ্য ডিজিজ দ্য সিমটমস ওকে ডিফাইন্ড অ্যাজ থ্রি অর মোর লুজ মেশনস পার ডে ফিফথ ওয়ান ইজ জন্ডিস ডিফাইন্ড অ্যাজ ডিসকালারেশন অফ স্কিন অর আইজ অ্যান্ড লাস্ট ওয়ান ইজ এনি আনইউজাল ইভেন্ট দ্যাট মে লিড টু ডেথ সো এইটা হচ্ছে ছটা আইটেম দিজ আর দ্য সিক্স আইটেমস দ্যাট দে হ্যাভ টু ডু নাম্বার ওয়ান ইজ জ্বর ফিভার লেস দ্যান সেভেন ডেজ নাম্বার টু ইজ কাপ লেস দ্যান টু উইক্স লেস দ্যান টু উইক্স হলে অ্যাকশান অন্যরকম মোর দ্যান টু উইক্স হলে অ্যাকশান অন্যরকম ওকে তাহলে নেক্সট ওয়ান ইজ কাপ থার্ড ওয়ান ইজ ডায়রিয়া ফোর্থ ওয়ান ইজ প্যার অ্যাসিড এই ফ্লাসিড প্যারালিসিস অ্যান্ড ফিফথ ওয়ান ইজ জন্ডিস অ্যান্ড লাস্ট ওয়ান ইজ আনইউজাল ইভেন্টস এমন কিছু হয়েছে যেখানে কিন্তু সিরিয়াস হবে এবং মারা যেতে পারে সো দিজ আর দ্য সিক্স আইটেমস দ্যাট দে হ্যাভ টু ডু আন্ডার ডিজিজ সার্ভেলেন্স প্রোগ্রাম অ্যান্ড কি করে করবে হাউ দে উইল ডু ইট ওকে দে হেলথ ওয়ার্কার দ্য মোস্ট পেরিফেরিয়াল ওয়ার্কার অ্যাট সাব সেন্টার অ্যান্ড আর দি প্রাইমারি রিপোর্টিং ইউনিটস in the surveillance systems how they can participate in different ways. number one first one is collection and collection of weekly surveillance data in every week they have to visit the community collect the data about all six items okay and they have to, once they collect the information there is a registers in the sub centers that is called register for separate registers register for syndromic surveillance okay once they collect data from the field and they have to enter this data into this register that is called syndromic surveillance registers not only that once they collect data then second phase is preliminary analysis only preliminary analysis and interpretations Health workers should do a preliminary analysis of syndromic surveillance data to find out the cluster of cases or occurrence of unusual events in the area. Okay, the so first is collection of data, second one is analysis of preliminary analysis and information and third one is reporting and fourth one is measures undertaken. Okay, reporting, how they, rather how do they report? they will report to the next level how by filling a special form three types of form i told you s p r kichu mone rakhche na s p r l l s p r l s form will be filled by the health worker p form will be filled by the doctors and l form will be filled by the laboratory laboratory technicians or pathologists whoever may be okay three form so once health worker will collect the data analyze the data then put it okay from the registers they will jot down the data or enter the data into a special form that is called s form during the regular meeting maybe monthly maybe weekly they will share the data or rather i should say they will hand over this form to whom to you 
you as a medical officer posted in primary health center. Hand over kollo. During the meeting, it will be discussed. That means so many health workers will come. How many health workers will come? Minimum under one PSC. Usually, how many sub centers are there? Sub center koto population five. A PSC the koto population how many population will be catered by one PSC? Leko leko. Na le bhule jabe. Sub center koto population five thousand. Primary health center koto population. I mean plain area the bol si kintu not in tribal or hill area. In, in plain area five thousand. And next one is thirty thousand. Three thousand population thak be. So three thousand population hai. Koto jora. How many pairs of health worker thak be? Six pairs. ठीक आ चे. तराज बे शेयर कोड बे. Then <coughs> on the basis of the S form, medical officer PSC will give feedback. And not only give feedback, but also. to modify or educate the health worker regarding economic surveillance health worker and health assistants or health supervisors and if there is any health inspectors then they will give feedback to them educate them about these form filling of form or what type of actions they would have taken next one is on the basis of this report report ko libos thakbe na action public health actions four types of works they have to carry out prothom ta ki data collections analysis dissemination of report and last one last one is public health measures what type of public health measures health workers should inform him opsc immediately immediately if they notice any cluster of cases cluster of cases or any cases that may be fatal that may create epidemic seta report korbe e charao they should carry out normal routine duty syndromic surveillance at least once in a week routine what for to prevent to detect And respond to outbreaks in timely and effective manner. Apart from this, they will also carry out or take measures, minimum measures. Okay, जेटा काम रहा बोली ठका दवा, ठका दवा जो नो minimum measures they will have to undertake. They will undertake. That is number one. In case of diarrhea, definitely they will distribute. O R S packet. Not only distribute, but they have to educate about the importance of O R S. How they will prepare O R S solutions with the help of oral reaction salt. Next one is they will test the fever cases using rapid diagnostic kit, and also they will provide treatment for the fever cases. Usually by providing, की दे बे उसे की दे बे. जर चारे जिन कलेक्शन एनालिसिस रिपोर्टिंग एंड पब्लिक हेल्थ मेजार्स ना क्वेश्चन कम्स हाउ दे उल डु इट जस्ट स्लैड टाइम नहीं नेक्स्ट क्लस की आज माइक्रोबायोलॉजी पैथोलॉजी क्लस तो है हमारा पाँच मिनट आज अच्छा कलेक्शन एंड collection of data how they can do it korbe to thik ache kibhabe korbe number 1 weekly visit porikha to porbe tomaderkeo korte hobe khub important weekly visit 
কখন করবে হাউ মেনি টাইমস ইন আ উইক কতবার ভিজিট করবে মিনিমাম আমি এগোব না আনটিন আনলেস ইউ টেল দিস আনটিন আনলেস ইউ গিভ দি আনসার্স কবার ভিজিট করবে মিনিমাম উইকে কবার ভিজিট করবে হেলথ ওয়ার্কার মিনিমাম মিনিমাম একবার ভিজিট করবে হাউ দে উইল ডু ইট রুটিন উইকলি ভিজিটস অ্যাপার্ট ফ্রম দিস দে উইল কালেক্ট ইনফরমেশনস ফ্রম কি ইনফরমেন্টস হু আর দ্য কি ইনফরমেন্টস মানে বোঝো তো কি ইনফরমেন্টস মানে কি বলা হয় কি ইনফরমেন্টস ইনফরমেন্ট মিনস দ্য পারসনস উইল ইনফর্ম কি ইনফরমেন্টস মিনস মেন হু আর দোজ ইয়েস আশা অঙ্গনী ওয়ার্কার স্কুল টিচার্স ইনফরমেল লিডার্স তাদের কাছ থেকে তারা তথ্য কি করবে দেবে কাদেরকে দেবে এন এম কে দেবে কি সার্ভালেন্স তাকে বলা হয় দ্যাট ইজ প্যাসিভ সার্ভালেন্স ওকে অ্যান্ড থার্ড ওয়ান দে উইল কালেক্ট ইনফরমেশন দে উইল গেট ইনফরমেশন থ্রু মিডিয়া ইউ আর টু আর্লি ফর দি নেক্সট ক্লাস ওয়েট 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 ওকে আজকে এই পর্যন্ত থাক খুব খুশি এবার বলো তো ডিক্যাপচুলেট করো ফর থ্রি ফোর মিনিটস আর দেয়ার ফর ইক্যাপচুলেশন ফাইভ অর সিক্স পয়েন্টস অনলি হোয়াট ইজ সার্ভালেন্স সার্ভালেন্স ব্যাপারটা কি নজরদারি আচ্ছা ঠিক আছে গুড হোয়াট ইজ সার্ভালেন্স নজরদারি আচ্ছা কেন করা হয় হোয়াট ফর উই ডু সার্ভালেন্স দুটো কারণ দুটো ওয়ার্ড বলো ওয়ান ইজ কালেক্ট ইনফরমেশনস অ্যান্ড র্যাপিড অর কুইক কালেকশন অ্যান্ড র্যাপিড অ্যাকশন বাস কুইক কালেকশনস র্যাপিড অ্যাকশনস এই জন্য করা হয় ক্লিয়ার আচ্ছা অ্যাপার্ট ফ্রম দিস ইউজাল হেলথ ইনফ্রাস্ট্রাকচারস স্পেশাল প্রোগ্রামস ওয়াজ আন্ডারটেকেন কি নাম আইডিএসপি ঠিক আছে আইডিএসপি আন্ডারে কত ধরনের সার্ভালেন্স আছে তিন ধরনের কি কি সিনড্রোমিক প্রিজামটিভ অ্যান্ড কনফার্মেটিভ সিনড্রোমিক কে করবে হু উইল পারফর্ম দিস হেলথ ওয়ার্কার প্রিজামটিভ কে করবে অ্যান্ড ল্যাবরেটরি কনফার্ম ব্যাস কিভাবে করবে সিনড্রোমিক অন দ্য বেস অফ দি সাইন্স অ্যান্ড সিমটমস আর প্রিজামটিভ কিভাবে করবে যে সমস্ত কেসগুলো হেলথ ওয়ার্কার নিয়ে আসছে সাসপেক্টেড হিসেবে তাদেরকেই কি করবে ক্লিনিক্যাল এক্সামিনেশান করবে কে করবে মেডিকেল অফিসার্স সেগুলো প্রিজামটিভ অ্যান্ড তারপরে লাস্টে কনফার্ম করবে ল্যাবরেটরি হয়ে গেল তিনটে এবার হেলথ ওয়ার্কার কি করবে হেলথ ওয়ার্কার যে সিনড্রোমিক অ্যাপ্রোচটা ইউজ করবে কিভাবে করবে বাই কালেক্টিং ইনফরমেশনস আই দ্য গো টু দি ফিল্ড অ্যাক্টিভ সার্ভালেন্স হোয়েন দি পিপল কাম টু হেলথ সেন্টার্স প্যাসিভ সার্ভালেন্স তা তিনভাবে করতে পারে নাম্বার ওয়ান রুটিন ভিজিট আর রুটিন ভিজিট ছাড়াও রুটিন ভিজিট করতে গিয়ে সবগুলোকে পেল না দেন হোয়াট টু ডু কি ইনফরমেন্টস হু আর দ্য কি ইনফরমেন্টস বোঝা গেল অ্যান্ড থার্ড ওয়ান ইজ থ্রু মিডিয়া ওকে যখন ইনফরমেশনস কালেক্ট করবে দ্যান মিন্স ইফ দি সোর্স ইজ not health worker himself or herself then the data the informations received from the other sources that means key informants and media first they will they means health worker will verify it then enter into the surveillance registers and from the surveillance registers they will transfer the data into form surveillance form syndromic surveillance form short form key form bola hoy s okay that's all thank you and join this group every wednesday at 11 am at microbiology department please come and participate 
after this class today we will discuss mycology uh, mycology that is uh, subject with related with fungus so it is a very difficult and emerging group of disease you have heard the name of black fungus related with covid so this is the group uh, these diseases are emerging so it is better to know something about this fungus so for you people i have prepared one note of 15 to 16 pages on mycology just read it and go through your exam today's discussion is on cystode a very short discussion and after that i will give you a note selective note on tinea solium and tinea saginata uh, a very important question almost every time for your theory as well as for oral purpose so cystode the general characteristics my microphone is ekhan theke kichu shona jay na hello the general characteristics the majority are long segmented and tape like are called tape ones the common name is tape one long segmented almost about 10 meters long dorsal ventrally flattened flat chapter size varies from a few millimeter to several meter the longest is d latum and shortest is dog tape worm the adult worms are found in the intestinal canal of man and animal. Head or scolex is provided with suckers and sometimes with hooks that serve as organ of attachment. Suckers. These are the organ of attachment to the intestinal wall. The head is called scolex. The head or scolex is provided with suckers and sometimes with hooks this is hooks two layers of hooklets that serves an organ of attachment there are three regions in adult worm this is called scolex the head the neck is very short one very short neck neck short neck and then The segment. The segments are called proglottids. So head scolex, neck, strobila, body or trunks, and consist of series of segments called proglottids. The series of segments are there. These are called proglottids. The segments are of different types. One is the mature, other one is immature, and other one is these are gravid segments. The first is immature segment. No separation of sexes are seen. They are hermaphrodite in nature. And then the mature segments where the sex organ slightly developed. 
and then the gravid segment both testes and ovaries are the same species and the same segments are seen these are hermaphrodite group the sexes are not separate the body cavity is absent no cylindric cavity but the elementary tract is absent the excretory and nervous systems are present but partially developed the reproductive system is present and complete in each segment according to maturity of the reproductive organ three types of segments of, and of the strobila can be recognized from the from backwards first the immature segment then few segments are mature and then the gravid segment immature male and female organs are not differentiated in mature segment the mature male and female organs have become differentiated male organs appear first then few segments are mature segments and gravid segment uterus are filled with eggs other organs are atrophied and have disappeared the classification of cystodes two groups are there one is the pseudo filarian cystodes only remember the example of that the example is diphylobotrium latum the fish tape worm the fish tape worm diphylobotrium latum the second one that is the cyclophilidian cystode the cyclophilidian cystode includes tinea saginata tinea solium h nana h diminuta and b canium important tinea saginata tinea solium and h nana and for you people now tinea saginata and tinea solium are important the pseudophilidian cystode the example is fish tape worm you have already know that this is the this is the rostellum these are the saccades and this is rostellum these things are not present in this group pseudophilidian cystode so attachment molecule is known as bothria the attachment is different the attachment molecule attachment head this head portion is slit and it is called bothria the head is different the scolex is different the two slit is there these are called bothria and there is no rostellum no rostellum classification of cystodes infecting man according to habitat cyclophilidian cystode possesses cup like and round saccades called acetabula round saccades and rostellum as such called acetabulum and larval stages in man in hydatid cyst we will discuss this later now the difference between pseudophilidian and cyclophilidian head or scolex pseudophilidian we are two slit like groups two slit like group bothria and here cyclophilidian we are four cup like saccades four cup like saccades uterus no branching and here branching is present uterine pore present absent common genital pore is ventral in the midline is lateral and eggs operculated eggs operculated means with a cover this is known as operculum a cover is there so operculated eggs this is classical of pseudophilidian and here in case of cyclophilidian that is in case of tinea solium and saginata there is no operculum or operculated body is absent the pseudophilidian dilatum although it is not important for you but it is fish tape worm the life cycle is bit different the first i'll show you the picture first 
This is the diphylobotrium latum. See the head, the scolex. This is a slit like structure. And just think about the length of that, almost about 10 meter in length. The adult worm, the fish tapeworm, it is known as fish tapeworm. And morphology, adult worm is yellowish gray in color. The dark central markings, dark central markings are there in the strobina are due to the egg field uterus and measures about 2 to 10 meters in length. The lifespan is for a period of 5 to 15 years. This is the scolex, a spoon shaped scolex, spoon shaped scolex. And scolex bear two slit like groups called botria. Scolex has no rostellum, no rostellum. No hooklets. Neck is thin and unsegmented and is much longer than the head. This is the gravid proglotid. 3000 to 4000 proglotids are there. 1, 2, 3, like 3000 to 4000. A mature segment is filled with male and female reproductive organs. The terminal segments shrink and becomes empty as eggs are constantly discharged. Uterus at the center of the segment appears in the form of a rosette. Over. The operculum at one end and a small knob at the other. This is a small knob and this operculated end. It is not clear from this picture, but there is an operculum, a cover. Does not float in the saturated solution of common salt. The life cycle. <coughs> Egg passed in pieces. This is coracidium ciliated, and then the coracidium eaten by the copy pod or cyclops, the cyclops, and from the cyclops, prosarcoid form is formed, and fish eat copy pod, and then it is called pleosarcoid develops in the fish muscles. This pleosarcoid form taken by the human being, and then Ultimately, the adult tapeworm in the small intestine is formed. So, this is the cycle. Just to know that the two intermediate hosts are there. One is this copy pot and other one is fish. Here is the picture from CDC. This is the scolex, botria, the entire adult worm, adult small in intestine. The proglotids release immature eggs and unembryonated eggs are passed in feces and eggs embryonated in water. Then coracidium to prosarcoid larva from the fish, human ingest raw and undercooked infected fish and then the cycle is repeated. Now the most important chapter. D latum is not, uh, not important for you, but however, this is tinea sagineta and this is very important for you. You can see that it is known as beef tapeworm. Unarmed tapeworm of man, where this rostellum is absent. That's why it is called unarmed tapeworm of man. You can see here no rostellum. Only four saccades are there. The measures about 5 to 10 meters or sometimes up to 24 meters. Survival time up to 10 years. The tinea saginata, 1000 to 2000 proglotids. Common genital pore is marginally situated. Vagina is provided with the sphincter muscles. The gravid proglotid, this is important, the gravid proglotid consists of the uterus and the central longitudinal stem. This is the central longitudinal stem with 50 to 30 branches on each side, 50 to 30 branches on each side. That's the sphincter of the vagina. The highly branched proglotids, the gravid proglotid contains 97,000 to 124,000 ova. And gravid segments are expelled singly and force their way through the anal sphincter of the human being 
and free gravid proglottid crawls out of the anal orifice and omisposit on the perianal skin. This is the adult one. Nova, liberated by rupture of the proglottids, no uterine opening, spherical, thin and outer transparent shell. The inner embryo 4 is important. This is the inner embryo 4. Is brown, thickward, and radially striated. This is radial striation, radial striations, radially striated, the outer wall. Has an oncosphere with three pairs of hooklets. Three pairs of hooklets, this is classical of this tenia species. Three pairs of <coughs> with three pairs of hooklets. Does not float in saturated salt solution and eggs are resistant and retain and remain viable for eight weeks, infective only to cattle. So this one is only infective to cattle. We'll compare it with tinea solium later. The final host is man, intermediate host is cattle, cow, buffalo, mode of infection eating beef containing cystic sarcas bovis, pathogenesis, tiniasis, the infection, the passage of proglotid in stool, mild irritation at the site of attachment, epigastric pain, weakness, all vague symptoms, and obstruction in intestine, but also in bile and pancreatic ducts may rarely occur. Appendix because uh, because proglotids are actively motile. Appendicitis is a possibility because these proglotids are actively motile. Diagnosis, identifying characteristics of eggs, proglotids and scolex and usual specimen is gravid proglotids that is uh, visually observable in a stool specimen and treatment by uh, praziquintel is the drug of choice. 5 to 10 milligram per kg of body weight to single dose and the criteria of cure, this is very important, what is the criteria of cure? Recovery of the scolex, you have to collect the entire school material, stool material and by a filter paper, you have to filter it out. The scolex is visible, until and unless the scolex is expelled, the infection but cease. So finding of scolex in the stool material is the sign of the therapy, proper therapy. The negative stool examination three months after treatment is also required. The tinea solium is the pot tapeworm and the arm tapeworm of man because of this thing, rostellum. The tinea is, is common among the, those eating raw and insufficiently cooked measly pork. Uncommon among non-pork eaters. Scolex is globular. Here you can see that scolex is globular. And here is the rostellum. The scolex has a rostellum armed with a double row of alternating large and small hooklets. The rostellar hooklets are shaped like daggers. This is the picture of rostellum. And four suckers. The rostellum, the suckers, entire thing is the scolex globular in nature, short neck, immature proglottids and mature proglottids and then this is the gravid one. The gravid one is like that. Survival time is 25 long years. Here 800 to 900 proglottids are there. Common genital pore is marginal and thick lift. Vaginal opening is not guarded by a muscular sphincter and gravid segments are expelled passively in chains. Intinia saginata is expelled actively. And gravid proglotids contain approximately about 30,000 to 50,000 eggs. Ova cannot be differentiated. Tinea solium, tinea saginata, it is impossible to differentiate it by the egg. Final host is man. Intermediate host pig Mode of infection eating misly pot containing cysticarca cellulosi. Cysticarca cellulosi is seen not only in pig, 
but also in human being. So that's why cysticarca cellulose or pork tapeworm is important. The diagnosis tool examination for proglottids and egg. Tinea solium pathogenesis is mild non-specific abdominal complaint. Proglottids are not as motile as tinea cyanata, so appendicitis is less common. And cysticarcosis is a short note, multiple developing any organ or tissue. Neurocysticarcosis, most serious genotic disease, involvement of brain, chorioretinitis and vasculitis are the possibilities. Diagnosis intestinal, identifying the characteristic proglottid eggs and scolex. Cysticarcosis, computed axial tomography or magnetic resonance imaging where the calcified lesions are seen in brain. Treatment by Prasiquintel and criteria for cure is recovery of scolex and negative stool examination 3 months after treatment. Remember this particular thing is the criteria of cure. Recovery of scolex is important, important and important. This is the life cycle as per CDC. And the difference between tinea cyanate and solium, the length, the head and scolex, the difference you know, the number of proglottids, expulsion, uterus and testes, the number of testes. Now you have done few important points. Please write the clinical features of tinea species. Long question as well as short note. One side write tinea saginata, other side tinea solium. And the left side write the common name. On the left side the common name, then tinea saginata, tinea solium. The common name of tinea saginata is beef tapeworm, tinea solium, pork tapeworm, habitat, jejunum, jejunum, morphology, adult worm, tape like in case of tinea saginata, 5 to 10 meters in length, white in color. I repeat, the left side right morphology, adult worm first, underline it, tinea saginata under tinea saginata, it is tape like 5 to 10 meters in length and white in color. Tinea solium, same tape like, but 2 to 3 meter in length, 2 to 3 meter in length, tinea solium, same white color, adult one. Then the most important part of scolex, S-C-O-A-D-X, scolex, underline it. Tinea saginata, large comma, quadrate, quadrate, Q-U-A-D-R-A-T-E, quadrate, with four suckers, with four suckers. Quadrate with four suckers. This one is globular, tinea solium. Tinea saginata, large quadrate with four suckers. May be pigmented, may be pigmented. Tinea solium, small, globular, with four suckers.
Tinea saginata. Head without rostellum and hooklets. Head without rostellum and hooklets. T saginata. No hooklets, no rostellum. But in tinea solium, there is hooklets and rostella. The head provided for tinea solium, the head provided with rostellum armed with double row of alternating large and small hooklets. Tinea solium, head provided with rostellum armed with double row of alternating large and small hooklets. Next point, neck, tinea saginata, long, long neck, tinea solium, short neck. Next point, segments on the left side, underline it, segments, bracket, proglottids. The segments are called proglottids. Number of proglottids, 1000 to 2000 in case of tinea saginata, 1000 to 2000. Solium, 800 to 900. Gravid segment, next point, left side, gravid segment, 20 into 6 millimeter, saginata, solium, 12 into 6 millimeter, expelled, next point, expelled, E-X-P-E-L-L-E-D, expelled, tinea, saginata, singly, Segment singly expelled, one segment at a time. In case of solium, in chain of five or six. Uterus, next point. Central longitudinal stem with 15 to 30 lateral branches. These are called lateral branches and this is the central line. So each segment there is a central longitudinal stem or line with 15 to 30 lateral branches in each side in case of saginata. 5 to 10 lateral branches for tinea solium. Only 5 to 10 lateral branches from tinea solium. Common genital opening. In the posterior or lateral margin of each segment, the posterior or lateral margin of each segment in saginata. And in case of solium, mid lateral. Vaginal sphincter present in case of saginata. Solium is absent. Testis. It is a hermaphrodite, monaceous. Testis, 200 to 400 in number in saginata. And 150 to 200 solium. Lifespan, 
13 years. Solium, 25 years. The period of survival is 25 years. It is getting long time to invade the tissue. So tissue invasion is there in case of solium. The lifespan is short in case of saginata. Tissue invasion, the possibility of invasion is rare. That's why cysticerca cellulose is seen in human being because of this long survival period of 25 years. Eggs. In saginata, it is acid fast. Tinea saginata, eggs, these are acid fast. Tinea solium, non acid fast. Color. These are not separable. Same in case of saginata and solium. Brown in color, that is bile stain. So, example of bile stain over tinea solium and tinea saginata. Two membranes are there, two outer membranes are there, one outer and one inner. Two membranes are there. The outer is thin. Two membranes are there. In case of egg, the outer is thin. The inner membrane is embryophore. Embryophore. It is thick, brown, radially striated. It is thick, brown, and radially striated. Striated. Radially striated. And enclosed the embryo, the oncosphere. Embryo that contains six hooklets. Six hooklets. Hence, it is called hexacanth embryo. Short note is hexacanth embryo. Infective to tinea saginata is infective with cattle only, but solium is infective to pigs and as well as human being. The larva in saginata is called cysticercus bovis and tinea solium it is cysticercus cellulose. Cysticercus cellulose is a short note for you. The site It is of larva. So, larva, name of cysticercus bovis in case of saginata, and larva, cysticercus cellulose for tinea solium. Site in case of saginata is 5 to 10 millimeter, and cysticercus cellulose is 8 to 10 millimeter. <coughs> 8 to 10 millimeter. In case of saginata, it is present in the muscle of cow and buffalo. Saginata, cysticercus, bovis present in the muscle of cow and cysticercus cellulose found in muscle of pig as well as in human. So, muscle involvement is there, is a possibility in case of human being. Cysticercosis in human in case of saginata, does not occur. Cysticercosis, in case of human, in case of tinea saginata, it does not occur. And cysticercosis, in case of tinea solium, is a possibility and a fatal systemic condition. It is a fatal systemic condition in case of tinea solium. Cysticerca cellulose is a fatal condition found in muscles in subcutaneous tissue, in brain, eyes, in brain it is called neurocysticercosis. 
If the lesion is in brain, it is called neurocysticercosis. Clinical features is almost epileptic seizures, fainting, sudden fainting, blurring of vision, severe headache, intense headache. Diagnosis. Antibodies detected, cysticercosis, neurocysticercosis, diagnosis of neurocysticercosis. Antibodies detected by ELISA test. Number two. Immunoblot test from CSF. Immunoblot test from CSF. Immunoblot from CSF. Number three. Antigen detection from CSF by ELISA. Number four. CT scan and MRI to demonstrate calcified space occupying lesion in brain. CT scan and MRI to demonstrate calcified space occupying lesion in brain. And finally, tissue biopsy. This is a very important question. Every time, almost. It is a CATS question, a theory paper, as well as in the oral table, tinea solium and tinea saginata. I have prepared this chart for you because reading all those things is very difficult from test book. Only read this chart and this is enough for you. Thank you.